What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I have done a video on this like so long ago with Maggie making family recipes and we were doing like some meal prep video, but it has been a while and this is a question that I get asked all the time. So I wanted to make it its own designated video. It's gonna be short, sweet, right to the point. So if you are confused on how to make a recipe in my fitness pal that doesn't have to equate out to specific servings amounts, then this is the video for you. So usually in MyFitnessPal, when you go to create a recipe, you can set the servings amount to literally whatever you want, right? So a lot of times what people do is they add all the ingredients into the manual section of everything that the recipe calls for. And then at the end, they portion it out into specific Tupperwares and they have to you know, weigh it out to make sure that it's equal in each serving size. For example, if you had something that you wanted four servings of specifically, you would have to then separate that and make sure that it's even. The down downside to this is that every single time you're going to eat that meal, you have to account for exactly what you set the serving size for. And for most people, I guess it's not really a huge deal, but the people who maybe want to mix and match their meals during the day, or maybe they just don't want that big of a serving. This is why I always create my recipes this way, because instead of making it, let's say serve four or five, I'm actually going to make the recipe serve whatever the total amount of this crock pot recipe weighs. The reason is that's gonna break down this total recipe into individual grams. So throughout the week, let's say, you know, one day I only want like a 50 gram serving. Hello, Bailey. <laughs> So if you only want a 50 gram serving one day, because you've already weighed out the total amount of the recipe, MyFitnessPal is going to basically do the equation for you so that if you scooped out 50 grams, it's going to give you the exact macros based on a 50 gram serving. So essentially, this just allows you to have whatever serving amount you want, and you don't have to be limited to a specific serving size every time you go to eat this meal. So I hope that makes sense. The first thing you're gonna wanna do, this is just a screenshot of what MyFitnessPal looks like. When you title your recipe, you're going to put the serving size as one for now. This doesn't matter because you have to cook your meal and then you wanna make sure that we're weighing it out after everything is already cooked and all of your ingredients are already in the meal. This part is honestly kind of irrelevant. I'm just shredding my chicken breast before I put it back into the crock pot and get it to soak up all the other juices that I have in there. You could use a hand mixer for this if you want to. I'm gonna do it the good old fashioned way and just shred it by using two forks and just shred it on its bowl. All right, so this is what your chicken should look like after you've shredded it. If you're doing this recipe, I will put the link in the description box for this video, but that's not the point of this video. <laughs> so I'm going to put this back into the crock pot and let all of the leftover like buffalo sauce and Greek yogurt soak up into this. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, take a gigantic bowl, whatever you have, and your scale. You're gonna place the bowl on the scale and tear it to zero. If you don't already know this, you can do this with basically anything. Peanut butter, you can put on the scale, tear it, scoop it out, and it will give you the negative amount, which is the exact amount you're taking out. So same concept applies for adding things to a bowl. Place the bowl on the scale and tear it to zero. And all I'm gonna do is transfer the shredded chicken that is now generously coated in the buffalo Greek yogurt mixture into the bowl and we're gonna weigh out the entire thing. Popping a screen recording up here so you can see what I see on my end. I'm gonna go into the recipes. Remember earlier when you initially created this recipe, you set the serving size to one. You can go back, edit your recipes. You're gonna just click the recipe you want, press edit recipe. Those are all the ingredients that you've already added unless you're adding something additional to it post being cooked, post cooked, cooked, whatever. Then you would add anything else that you needed to, but in my case, I'm just leaving it as is. So I'm gonna go next. And now the serving size because I'm weighing it in grams, is 963. So I know, and I usually always weigh everything in grams anyway, but anytime I take a serving out, I'm going to log this in grams. So I'll show you what that looks like. So when you press save and log it, I'm gonna change this to my lunch because that is what I am having today for lunch. Now, as you can see, one serving, which is one gram, obviously, like nothing, it gives you the macros for that. However, when you start adding, you can then see what the macros are for a 100 gram serving or a 200 gram serving, whatever it is that you want, right? Let's take out a serving. Again, I'm tearing out my scale 
and I have added some uh, Greek yogurt into this as well. But I think I'm going to have just about 150 grams, which on top of this mashed potato, which by the way, this recipe will be on my Instagram by the time you're seeing this video, 150 grams is 33 grams of protein, four fat, and two carb. On top of this baked potato and you got yourself a high protein lunch and all you do is click that check mark and you are good to go. And now every single time you go to log this recipe or if you make the same one again and you have maybe like less chicken breast or less Greek yogurt, you can still do that same thing. Go in, edit the recipe, change the amounts of whatever it is that you have and then change the final serving size. I do this all the time for my meals. It's super easy and it keeps it accurate so you don't have to do individual meal prepped meals. So I hope that helps you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click subscribe so you never miss Monday and Thursday with Manders. And I'm off to eat my buffalo chicken twice baked potato meal. I'll see you guys in our next one.